In this short video, we'll be looking at how to configure your Samsung E-Series display to connect with Signage Live from its out-the-box state. We're using a Samsung DM40E display during this exercise with a wired network connection. We have the remote control to navigate its menus and a USB keyboard attached. When your display powers on, you'll be asked to select the language you wish to configure your display in. Now choose the display orientation from landscape or portrait before pressing OK on your remote control. Your display will show the network you're connected to or show you the available wireless networks if you're not using a wired connection. If asked to choose a TV input, select no display before pressing next to continue. Make sure that the date and time are correct before pressing OK on your remote control to continue. Ensure that the URL launcher option is selected in the play via menu as this is how your Signage Live content will shortly show. Now enter the player specific Signage Live URL using either your remote control or keyboard before selecting Next and OK to complete the display setup. You'll be taken back to the source screen where you should press Home or Content to launch the URL launcher menu and select URL launcher. You'll see the Signage Live settings menu where you can choose the display's time zone any rotation, to enable or disable SSL, and to allow or disable remote firmware updates before you save your settings. Your player will now launch, and after downloading its content, will show the Signage Live activation code. This should then be activated on your Signage Live network using one of your active licenses. And when the player next successfully performs its content check, you'll see the green tick appear to let you know the display has been successfully connected to Signage Live. 